Do you love math? If so, there's a brand new exhibit just for you here at the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation. It's called Mathematica and it's now open. This new exhibit was conceptualized, designed, and brought to life by Charles and Ray Eames in 1961. The idea is to make mathematics and numbers easier to understand. So please start by giving me some highlights of the new Mathematica exhibit. <laughs> it's actually hard to give highlights because it's actually such an integrated exhibit. Um, it's, uh, it's designed to be an exhibit that uh, provides a direct experience of mathematics and it's got a whole series of interactives uh, that function in that way in a, in a variety of ways. So uh, if you're by highlight, if you meant what one of my favorites might be, it's probably the thing you can hear rattling away in the background with all the balls going through it. But I'm trying not to play favorites with this. So, uh, you know, they're all highlights. Each, uh, each uh, interactive engages, allows people to engage in a different way with, uh, with mathematics. As you said, there's a lot of interactive. So can you discuss maybe some of the things that the visitors can do? Well, I mean, there's interactivity in a variety of ways. So there's a machine that allows you to do three times multiplication by pressing buttons and then giving you the answer in lights in a kind of cubic form. Um, there's, a, there's a rather simple machine called Celestial Mechanics, which, uh, where you can release a ball, which will then do elliptical orbits. There's other machines that simply operate on their own. The random walk, which will uh, show you how a randomized walk uh, can be traced. The probability machine, which shows how a bell curve uh, will come out of just falling uh, balls through, uh, through a grid. Um, conic sections, which is a sort of mysterious machine. You peer into it and find out in private there's an awful lot going on in there. So sometimes it's interactivity based on pushing buttons and making choices. Other times it's just looking and seeing things happen at the same time. I mean, I, I, I define interactivity pretty broadly. I think any museum with good, powerful objects where you simply look at them and, and respond to them, that's a really useful form of interactivity as well. All right. Now, would you say that this exhibit is great for adults and kids alike? I would say it's great. It was designed to be great for kids, uh, everyone in between, right through to folks in their, you know, advanced in years, if you will. So, no, it's, it's a playful exhibit, though, that opens doors onto fairly serious things. But you can still have fun doing that. You don't have to, you don't have to enjoy this exhibit with a view to becoming a, a rocket scientist or a mathematician. Uh, it's, uh, it offers insight into uh, mathematical phenomena that you will recognize in the world, and it generally does it through the kind of phenomena you might in fact uh, employ in the world, like you know, blowing soap bubbles, that kind of thing. Two of the artifacts are unique to the Henry Ford installation, random walk and conic sections. In random walk, two baskets flip back and forth. However, in conic sections, beams of light are transformed into complex shapes. This exhibit just opened about two days ago, so what are your first impressions? It's pretty, pretty interesting and it's learning a lot of interesting things I didn't know before in terms of math. It's very ha hands-on, great um, visuals. We've been really enjoying it so far. Yeah. Now would you say it brings back memories from the college or the high school days? You know, um, maybe I guess with, with high school, but maybe not so much because it's so much more visual and hands-on than when I was in high school. What I learned in high school um, was out of a textbook and paper, but here it's, you know, it's more active and engaging and gives you those nice um, models in action to like really explain a concept. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, are there any parts of this that you're like, uh, gee, I remember that? Um, this one right here, you know, it's neat because we see this out in, you know, the world today with those, uh, maybe those penny machines that you drop off. And so the kids and I are always doing those. So it's neat to kind of see the science behind it and the math behind it. Yeah. And would you say it's great for both kids and adults? Yeah, I definitely do. I think it's probably even better for older kids, like maybe more in middle school, high school age, because I think some of these concepts, they are learning about in school but um, my kids are young but they're still learning and enjoying it so now would you say it's a great addition to the museum here yeah I think it falls in with you know science and math I mean that's always something great to have at a museum I don't know yeah I think it does so this exhibit here just opened two days ago yes. so uh, what are your opinions so far 
Well, I just started looking at it on this part of the, pri the probability section. Um, I know a little bit about the Eameses uh, and their work and about this uh, exhibit. I think it's really very fascinating, very imaginative, uh, kind of an interesting way of visualizing mathematical concepts. And I look forward to seeing the rest of it. Yeah. Okay. Now, would you say that it's perfect for kids and adults alike? Uh, yes, I think it is. I believe it is because, you know, it's just a visual element and, you know, even if you're an adult, I mean, it's, you're always going to be fascinated by, you know, things in motion and kind of how th uh, concepts are described and such, you know, same as a child. Now, were there a certain concept here that maybe bring you back to your college or high school days? Uh, well, uh, the first one I've seen is probably one of them, the probability one, because of statistics. I took a statistics class in, uh, you know, in, uh, in the college. And also, it's kind of seeing that bell curve. It's bringing back memories of the mean, the median, and the mode. <laughs> yeah. Would you say that's your favorite part of the exhibit? Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's my favorite because I haven't seen the rest of it. I, it's too soon to judge, but so far, it's I find it very enjoyable and very a really good way of of, vis of explaining and visualizing the concepts of probability. Yeah. Would you say it's a great addition to the museum here? Yes, I do. I really do. Um, you know, certainly they're very in the Eameses were very innovative people, and they're you know, and all the different endeavors they had, you know, creative and debt works, uh, design, etc. And uh, this really does uh, add to it. Yes, it does. Now I understand there's only two other exhibits like this in the world. Is that correct? It's true. There's three in, three Mathematicus uh, uh, in, in total. One in Boston, which was originally in Chicago and one at the uh, Hall of Science in Queens in New York. That was originally in Los Angeles. So this is the third version, which was um, partially created for the New York World's Fair of uh, 1964 and 65, but then later put together to be a third mathematic for the uh, Pacific Science Center in Seattle. Oh, okay. Now, so this is a permanent exhibit. It's going to be staying here forever? Um, it, it is a permanent exhibit, absolutely. It's not temporary. So um, uh, that shouldn't mean putting off a visit for, for infinity, though, to get into mathematical arena. You should definitely uh, make a plan to come see it. But yeah, it's a permanent addition to the museum. Now, for those who may have been here before, can you describe where it's located within the museum? Uh, it's, it's, um, it's over on the other side of the museum from all the transportation. So the folks who come are used to coming into the museum in the middle, maybe making a beeline to the right to look at automobiles. If you go directly left, you'll find it down towards the Wienermobile and the, uh, the, uh, the American Dog House. So uh, that's, that's the zone of the museum it's in. In case you were wondering, access to the new Mathematica exhibit is included with your ticket or your membership. Reporting from the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation, I'm Jason Rosidlo for AmericaJR.com.